Oh, idiotic, am I? Well, let me tell you something, Sam. She's here. Well, at least she didn't fly down the chimney. Now, if you're going to be insulting... I'm sorry, Sam. I... I didn't mean to say that. It's just that... Well, I'm nervous. Will you answer the door or shall I? I'll answer it. Ask her to leave her broom outside. <laughs> Good evening. Won't you come in? Samantha. This must be, what's his name? Mother, this is my husband. This is... There. Oh, we were just having a drink. Would you care for a cocktail? Thank you, Mr. Stevens. Well, I'd like it much better if you'd call me by my first name. Oh, very well, Dennis. <laughs> Darren, Mother. Oh, oh, of course. I'd like a very dry martini. Italian vermouth, Spanish gin, and a Greek olive. <laughs> well, I don't think we have any. Uh... Oh, don't bother. I'll fix it myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's marvelous. <laughs> marvelous. Now, young man, suppose you tell me all about yourself. What you do and why do you do it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'm in the advertising business. I'm with a firm called McMahon and Tate. Really, isn't that interesting? Oh, pardon me. Uh, do you have a cigarette? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. You were saying? Our firm handles some rather large accounts. Thank you, I have a light. <laughs> Mother, Darren's firm is one of the largest advertising agencies in the world, and Darren's one of its top executives. That sounds very exciting. <laughs> Samantha, may I have that ashtray, please? Oh, yes, certainly. And Darren is responsible for all of the creative designs for their campaigns. What on earth did you do that for? Do what? You carried that ashtray to me. <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten how to levitate. Of course I haven't forgotten, Mother. It's just that Darren prefers that I don't do any of that stuff anymore. Why do you object to my daughter being herself, young man? I don't object, Mrs. You'll never be able to pronounce it. Just call me Endora. I like Samantha the way she is, Endora. She doesn't need any of that other nonsense. Nonsense? Darren doesn't mean anything. Darren, please. I mean, we don't need those powers of hers. Uh, we can handle things very well by ourselves. Oh, you think so, do you? Now, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but we want to live normal lives. What is normal to you, young man, is to us asinine. <laughs> Samantha is what she is, and that you cannot change. Mother, I made the decision myself. Yes, I know. A decision I do not approve. Samantha and I can handle our problems by ourselves. They're nobody else's business. Darren, please. Are you threatening me? Not exactly. Darren, please understand. Mother means well. Don't you worry, my poor baby. Your mother will see to it that you're treated properly. I have every intention of treating her properly without any help or interference from you. Young man! Mother, don't! Very well. Just consider yourself lucky that you are not, at this moment, an artichoke. <laughs> so from now on, watch your step, young man. Mother is watching you. She's really very nice when you get to know her. 